From Edith Prickley and Guy Caballero to Bobby Bittman and Ed Grimley, the comedy titans behind those characters have reunited. Yes, the stars of Second City recently got together for a reunion performance in Toronto, but a question arises, can the brilliant humor that made SCTV so cutting edge in the late 70s and early 80s fly today given that squeaky wheel constituency known as Generation Triggered? Well, it was a triumphant homecoming last Sunday when seven cast members of the dearly departed SCTV took to the stage at Toronto's Elgin Theatre. And better yet, next year, a comedy special featuring these giants of sketch comedy will air on Netflix. To quote those hosers, Bob and Doug McKenzie, beauty, eh? Full disclosure, I'm about as big an SCTV fanboy as you'll ever find. SCTV was blessed with great writing and top-notch actors, Although some of them, such as John Candy and Harold Ramis, they left us way before their time. But what made SCTV so knee-slapping funny and delightfully daring was that this show would take on any target. Yet it wasn't as though SCTV was going out of its way to be purposefully offensive. Rather, it was a matter of people simply not being so easily offended back then by comedians who pushed the envelope. When SCTV debuted in 1976, I don't even think the word political correctness was in the lexicon. For whatever reason, audiences weren't so fragile. They weren't so perpetually offended. Look, maybe SCTV audiences didn't laugh at every joke or embrace every character, but they could always wait for the next sketch or, in a worst-case scenario, change the channel. <laughs> what a concept! Alas, today, a sour punchline inevitably means a social media lynching. Today's uber-sensitive snowflakes, well, they will demand an apology or a suspension or a termination or at the very least mandatory sensitivity training should a comedian have the utter temerity to offend. As such, I reckon that at least half the SCTV catalog is just way too offensive for today's bubble wrap social justice warriors. And to illustrate my point, here are a few snippets of SCTV Comedy Gold that generated laughter decades ago, but would surely be considered verboten today thanks to political correctness. For starters, consider Halfwits, a game show comprised exclusively of contestants who are... Mm, what is the correct word for it today? Uh, challenged? What exactly uh, do you do for a living, Arthur? Well, it's a job. It's nothing special. What, what, what kind of a job? Uh, just a job, you know, a non normal job. What do you do for a living? Uh, well, I, I work. Where? Oh, around. All right, I don't have time for this. Arthur, Alex, good to have you here, uh, Alex, and good uh, luck to you. Warehouse. That's fine, Arthur. I don't really care at this point. Uh, Lawrence ship, Orbach. Uh, ship, Arthur, Alex, I don't care what you do. Thank you. Now, Lawrence, you were telling us you're still in school. Right, oh, Alex. Postgraduate work? No, high school. I'm having some degree of difficulty getting through high school. Oh, are you kidding me? Making fun of the mentally ill in this day and age of Bell hashtag Let's Talk and Miss Thompson and Andrew Lawton? Uh-uh, no way that flies in the current environment. Then we have local political candidate Jack Brown giving his opinion on how to develop a 300-acre tract of land just outside Mellonville. And uh, one of the ways that we might be able to do it is by taking this 300-acre tract of land and using it for military purposes. I mean, God knows we give enough foreign aid to <laughs> countries all over the world, and what we got to do now is uh, make this a military installation, perhaps a missile silo, you know, where we have our own defense built right in. There we can pick out our own common enemy, go to an atlas, flip through the back pages of the index, pick a country, any country at all unite the people of Mellonville together. Then and only then will we be able to protect our farms, our source of food, from the Asian hordes that we all know are coming. Because after all, if we don't eat, we get thin. And who wants to be as thin as those Asians, hmm? Okay, let's see, that encompassed everything from glorifying the industrial military complex, and there was ethnic humor, and a dollop of fat shaming. <laughs> no, sir, that does not air today. And how about this excerpt from the martial arts parody Blind Fists of the Furious Dragon. I have learned the secret art passed down to me from generation to generation, from my forefathers and now finally to me. The name of that art 
You stick fool. <laughs> What's that on your robe? <laughs> Gracious, how dare that honky Dave Thomas depict the Chinese character Lin Yi Tang. You have to wonder what's worse, folks, the overt cultural appropriation or the violence against women due to Lin Yi Tang employing his shtick foo on that hapless female. Finally, how about this Count Floyd presentation, Dr. Tung's 3D House of Stewardesses. Oh, and hey, whatever you do, kids, don't forget to put on your 3D glasses. <laughs> Take their blouses and start. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Did, did, did you see those big, you know, those, those, those things just coming right out at you? Woo. I think my 3D glasses have steamed up there. But beyond that, I think the feminist founders of the Me Too movement are now experiencing cardiac arrest. Anyway, folks, I rest my case. As for that 2019 Netflix SCTV special, we'll just have to wait and see who or what will be lampooned. But if that TV special features content that touches upon any of the Second City parody targets of yesterdecade, well, <laughs> I predict the cast is going to witness off-the-charts outrage from the usual suspects. Uh, gee, maybe SCTV can do a sketch about that. <laughs> it practically writes itself. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, if you haven't already done so, circle Saturday, June the 2nd in your calendar. That's when Rebel Live takes place in Toronto. So many great speakers. We got Ezra Levant, John Cardillo, Katie Hopkins, and so many more. Go to therebellive.com and buy your tickets today.